So, uh, still playing around with power amplifiers here, and uh, I've ordered some more magnets. And while I'm waiting for those magnets to arrive, I bother to build this. Now, what we have here is a plastic block, and fixed in that plastic block is a little bit of spring metal. I got mine from Bandsaw Blade, and that spring metal is attached to this laminar iron block here, which is part of the core of a microwave oven transformer, and that's free to vibrate in that coil. There's the coil there, and it's just leading to two out to terminals here, and they're connected to this 6 volt battery here. The negative's already connected, and the positive is just lying off to one side for a moment. This is another laminate steel block, and on top of it I've got two N42 magnets. They're one centimeter by 0.2, and they're facing north-south, so they're in opposite polarities. Now, if I take um, the positive and just touch it to the positive, there we go we get a considerable deflection going on there of that. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. However, the really cool thing is if I take the magnets off so that all we've got there is the steel block and I touch it again so we get a pulse DC going through that coil we get absolutely nothing. And I think that's really cool not because we get absolutely nothing, but because if I put the magnets back on again, and that's quite some deflection that we've got going on there for the same amount of current that's going in here. Now, it's pulse DC, so it only goes to one side. If I put a sine wave in there, I could get the same deflection going on right the way through. Okay, but at the moment it's only going to one side because I'm pulsing DC. So what I'll probably do is put a sine wave in that and we'll see what kind of deflections we can get out of it. But it's a really interesting little setup for amplifying the power from a battery into some usable, useful work. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that little setup and hopefully you find it as interesting as I do. And it's yeah, another little implementation that we can play with as a possible route to over unity. Thank you for watching.